And uh, this proposal, uh, second version, I changed the name so it's different on the, the agenda than it is here. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a, in a second. So, so the current text in section 1-2 for the principles of proper administration and stewardship of resources in LACNIC. Um, oh, slides are here. I don't need to read back there. Um, state that numbering resources under the stewardship must be distributed amongst organizations legally constituted in the region and mainly serving networks and services operating in the region. So, um, the with what the change here that we want to make is to al allow root server operators to be able to apply for resources in the region. And the justification here is that the majority of root servers, 69% of them, which actually in version one it was 76, it's changed a little bit since then, are based within with resources from a single RIR. And so diversity in the RIR increases the resilience of the root server system, um, particularly because RPKI route validation is based on signatures from the IRR. So having diverse IRR means if there's a failure in, in an IRR, that more diversity means that the root server system will stay, uh, stay up and stable. So in version one, uh, I was trying to be general and rely on the, the, the discretion of the um, of the of LACNIC in deciding who qualified as global critical infrastructure, with just DNS root servers as as an example, and that was the thing that was uh, got the most comments and concerns in with version one of the proposal, and so to reduce the scope a little bit. Uh, to make sure that nobody can try and use the the broad nature of global critical infrastructure um, in version two, we've changed the text to specifically say that exceptions could be granted to DNS root server operators uh, from outside the service region and also to s explicitly specify for the purpose of operating global Anycast DNS root service. So it's been narrowed to a, to a fine point to be very specific in what we're trying to, to allow. I think that's my last slide. Muchas gracias, Robert. Ahora invitamos a Franco Cabrera del staff de LACNIC. Thank you, Robert. We will now welcome Franco Cabrera from LACNIC staff for the impact assessment. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. So this is the impact assessment of our staff. Our comment is that if this proposal reaches consensus, we assume that the coverage issue is resolved and LACNIC staff might interpret under the definition of among others at the 2332 micro assignments of critical infrastructure, in this case might assign resources for the critical infrastructure pool. We have no recommendations for this version of the proposal. and. There's no impact on systems, but it would change the operation for registry analysts. Thank you, Franco. We will now begin the time for discussion. Please let us know your questions, your concerns, or feedback on the proposal submitted. If you are connected online, you can uh, submit your question or comment on Zoom, or you can also raise your hand. 
We have two minutes for each uh, question, and the author has two minutes to respond as well. We do have simultaneous interpretation available, so please make sure you speak in your native language and at a slow pace. Let us know your name, organization, and whether you are against or in favor of the proposal. Ricardo Patara, just very quickly, let me not say that I'm in favor of the proposal. I believe that the version reaches the point, I mean, addressing one of the concerns to make sure that the use is very specific and it says that it's for DNS, is a global, I mean, the clarification is clear and it provides further certainty, certainty for the use of resources of critical infrastructure. So I am in favor. Hernan, I'm also in favor of the proposal. And I just wanted to stress, as Robert mentioned, the first version was quite broad. And well, you proposed, I believe, were four or five alternatives in the list. And that allowed us to reach consensus. And I'm sure that this proposal will reach consensus. Any other comments? <coughs> Any comments on Zoom? No? Okay. So thank you, everyone, for sharing your opinion. Thank you to the author. Thank you so much. We'll now measure the room's temperature. So remember that even though Zoom says that you have to vote, we are not voting. We are just writing, rather getting a feel of the room temperature. So consensus will be then evaluated with the comments on the forum or list, and this should not be considered as a vote. So we'll ask LACNIC staff to help us with the count. So, in the room, please raise your hand if you agree with the proposal. Please keep your hand raised for a minute. Please put your hand down. Now please raise your hand if you are against the proposal. Please raise your hand if you abstain. Please put your hand down. Thank you. So LAC 2023-6 version 2 special exception for suppliers of global critical infrastructure will end its eight first week of review on May 12, 2024, so up until two weeks from then. Moderators will let the community know if the proposal has reached consensus. So please, we encourage everyone to follow up on the discussion on the policy list. LAC 2023.